Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a fun topic. Strange things that you will see in New Zealand that, well, it's different than the US, but also maybe different than other parts of the world as well, but you're not gonna wanna miss it. This one's good. If you don't know us, we are a family of six that have moved from the US to New Zealand and have been here for eight years. I just wanna thank Wise right now for sponsoring this video. If you don't know them or are not familiar with their company, if you are traveling or moving abroad, you're gonna to wanna to use WISE for all of your money transfers. It's just easy to even use different currencies in different countries. If you click the link in the description, you can get free transfers up to like, I think almost a thousand New Zealand dollars. I'll talk all about that later on in the video, but thank you to WISE for sponsoring this video. Here we go. So I think you may be surprised at some of the things that I cover in this video because I've been thinking about this for a while and I came up with some good ones. So the first one that we're gonna talk about that's a little bit strange in New Zealand is, let's talk about their opportunity shops. I love thrift stores. So that is the New Zealand name for thrift stores and it's called Opportunity Shop. I love the name. I, I use them, I've gotten so many things from there. I go often. <laughs> a lot of Saturday mornings to the opportunity shops, but I just, some of the things about the way that they do it here just sometimes makes me giggle and is quite different. So unfortunately, like in the US, people just get rid of things and they buy new things and they're not very good with sustainability and reusing or just fixing, sewing, whatever the case may be. But what you'll find like even at like the Goodwill stores in the US, there's gonna be so many new items and that's not something you would ever see here in New Zealand. So that's definitely different. Obviously the name is different, but I just think some of the things that I see in thrift store or opportunity shops here in New Zealand really make me laugh. Um, so I went into a store and yeah, I've just seen different things and I'm just gonna, I can highlight some of the different things. Like you'll just see clothes that are like really worn out, like really worn out. Like you wouldn't give those, it's just, it's like the concept of like, you wouldn't give that away in, the U.S. Uh, because you have the opportunity in the U.S. to buy everything new at a relatively cheap price, um, which you do not have here. I don't think it's wrong that they're putting, you know, it's just, it sometimes makes me laugh like, wow, you're selling that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and some of the prices are really high. Like I, I just, I just uh, walked through a, uh, a thrift store that had a mattress and it was like in really good shape. It was four hundred dollars for a mattress in a thrift store. I don't know. Mattresses are expensive here. I mean, they go for thousands and thousands. But like four hundred dollars, I don't know. I mean, you don't know. And it, okay, the whole thing just kind of maybe. And they they just reuse everything. So you'll see, like I found a bag of buttons, a whole like just a just a plastic bag of buttons, and it was ten dollars. <laughs> Like, wow, I, d I don't know. I don't know, maybe buttons are expensive in New Zealand, but that seemed high. Also, they had like, uh, you know, they were selling like people had used patterns to like make clothes. So like sewing and crafts are big here because they don't have a lot. And so like, it really makes sense to make um, your own stuff if you want things a certain way. And so they're reselling it. I don't know. I just see so many funny things um, in the thrift stores here in New Zealand, sorry, I keep calling them thrift stores, opportunity shops. And it's just really noticeable the differences. So like, for example, I had a, a, a Kiwi friend come this summer when I was in New Zealand and I took her to the thrift stores there. And she was like, why would anybody go to a regular shop? Because you can get so many new clothes and like really nice stuff and all name brand at that at the thrift store and for two dollars you know like we're just used to like really cheap prices in the u.s at the thrift stores and they're not always some of them have started to go up but she's like what oh why would you go to a regular retail store because of the difference like she could really see like you know it's sometimes hard to find nice stuff here in new zealand but in the u.s it's like walking in, you can get brand new stuff, you know, because stores get rid of their stock and then they give it to Goodwill or whatever. So anyway, thrift stores. Okay, the second one I wanna talk about may seem a little bit funny, but let's talk about brooms. Brooms in New Zealand. I don't know what it is, but I don't know how you guys clean corners. So many years I had to use that, you know how you just have, you know, that thing where you pick up all the stuff after you've swept. Um, Okay, of course I can't come up with the name as I'm talking about it. But I used to have to go in the corners and use that because the brooms are, you know, long. And they, like, I don't know how you get in the corners. I just think it's so funny. Like, I eventually found one and I think I might have got it at the American store. <laughs> but like, how do you guys sweep corners? 
but I don't know. What is the deal with the brooms that are only one shape? I just wanna take a moment and tell you how much I like Wise. Now, this is just my true experience. I can tell you all the benefits. You can see that on their website. But let me just tell you about why I use them specifically, and I have for years. My kids have used it. They currently use it. Everybody has a Wise card. You can also have that card on your wallet as Apple Pay. It's just, it's unbelievable. So a couple of the main reasons why we love it in particular is because the fees are so low. When I have tried to use all different other services, it doesn't really compare. And there's no transaction fees. You can use it what feels like any country. It's like I think 175 countries that you can use it in. You can take money out of the ATM, I mean up to a limit. It's just, it's so convenient and so good and so fast. That's the other big one. It's like I could move money from the US to here and it's like a couple hours. It's like amazing, even though sometimes it says it's gonna take X amount of time, but it's always shorter than that. And it's just so fast, I just love it. So I just wanted to share that with you because this is a real question that I get probably almost daily <laughs> from people trying to move here, people traveling around. That's just kind of my niche and what I talk about and my community is in. And they're always like talking about money issues and use wise, like seriously, don't even go anywhere else. The other thing is if you are American and you're moving to New Zealand or anywhere in the world, you're gonna realize very quickly how hard it is to do any financial transactions abroad. It's like the American institutes, whether it's a bank or a credit card, they just really don't like it when you're abroad and they make everything difficult. And so you know what? You don't have to work with every specific credit card, every specific bank, you can just use WISE. I'm telling you, it is like a lifesaver. This is a true story. I was trying to move money from the US to New Zealand during COVID, and they literally said that I had to come into the store and sign the paper. I went, like, are you living in the world right now? Like, I can't even get out of the country. Anyway, it's just so ridiculous what I was, and so why is this kind of saves everything? You guys, I just, if you don't know what to, if you're even traveling, if you're just going somewhere for a couple of months, just take a wise card. It's so much easier than trying to be like, okay, well, how much is the transaction fee on my debit card? So the, what's really cool about the card is that you can load money in and you can just load it in from your phone as you need as well. So you don't have to like decide how much cash do I get to bring to this country? You can just load it on the debit card of the Wise card. It's, it's amazing. You guys definitely check out Wise. If you click the link in the description, you can get free transfers up to like, I think almost a thousand New Zealand dollars. It depends on whatever uh, <laughs> currency that you're running in right now, but it, you get, you know, a free, if you're new, if you've already used Wise, then you can't get that. But like, if you're new, check it out. It's amazing. I highly recommend Wise. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is the wind. I live in Wellington. I know this is unique to Wellington, but we're gonna talk about it today. The wind in New Zealand is so strong that like it feels like your whole house is gonna fall over. Like it's like it wakes me up at night, it keeps me up at night. When I'm in the city, the wind will literally, if I have a skirt on, it'll go up to my ears. One time I was getting money out of the ATM. <laughs> I had like you can't have an umbrella like people kind of laugh at you if you're walking around Wellington specifically with an umbrella because like the wind that just takes it but there's no point um I would say that's 99% of the time I mean, sometimes you can but so like the wind is like so shocking like you know like Chicago is the windy city but no it has nothing on Wellington the wind is just it's just I don't know when I've had people stay here from the US and they're like, we will call knock on my door. Like what's going on? Like, are we in a tornado? It's bad. The wind is shocking. And it's just, I've never seen anything quite like that. And it seems really strange. Um, but people are just act like it's normal. You know, I see things flying everywhere outside, but like, that's just normal here. It's windy, normal in Wellington anyway. Okay, let's talk about McDonald's in New Zealand. I get this question a lot. Like, is it different? Is the food different? Okay, let me highlight some differences. Okay, so first of all, the name. Here they call McDonald's Maccas. And it took me literally years to realize that they're talking about McDonald's. I thought they were talking about a different place. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Maccas is McDonald's. And a couple of different, I mean, they have a lot of the same menu. To me, it tastes the same. I guess I don't go home into the US and try McDonald's, so I probably should do that. But the sizes of things are gonna be different. The fry sizes, the drink sizes are gonna be much smaller. 
and they always have a McCafe, like an actual cafe where you can buy cafe goods, which is also not something that exists generally in the US. But when I traveled over around Europe, they had them in a lot of the McDonald's. So I think it's just something that's not as big in the US because cafes aren't the same. Now, if you are in the US and you think, what do you mean? Cafes are saying, okay, well, you haven't been to other places then because cafes are kind of everything where you go all the time and they're everywhere compared to what I've seen in the US, even in different cities. So the, the Maccas is a lot of the same. I'm trying to think of some of the food that's different would be like, they have like the Kiwi burger sometimes. It's not always out, but it has like beetroot on it and a fried egg. And so that's definitely different. I don't know if they have this in the US, but right now they have like the chicken sandwich Big Mac. So two chicken patties instead of beef patties. Do they have that in the US? I don't know. I didn't go and do like all this research. I mean, obviously they have different soda. They have LNP and um, you know, different Fanta flavors. They're always into raspberry. They're not into cherry here. So those are some of the difference is about McDonald's. When I went there uh, recently, I, I used my Wise card. Like you, so Wise you can use, like they have an actual card that you can carry around or you can just add it to your Apple Pay and you can just pay. So boom, you can just use Wise to just pay for your Macos when you're traveling. Um, around the world, wherever and whatever currency you want to use. That's also amazing. Okay, another strange thing that you will see in New Zealand is people walking around barefoot, like a lot of places. And then places you're not expecting, like in stores. And, you know, just go on to school, go on to class, go into church, bare feet. Now, not, I wouldn't say the majority of people are at bare feet, but it's very common and very accepted. Going into stores, you see people with bare feet. Um, so it just will seem strange. If you're coming here, you're new here, you're like, oh, they don't have shoes. Okay, so just be aware that you will see some bare feet. Generally in the US, you're gonna get that um, no shirt, no shoes, no service sign on the door. So you can't necessarily do that there, but yeah, just walking around barefoot, barefoot in the summer is very common. They don't have any like insects or deadly creatures that get ya. So this is why they can do that. I don't think you really do that in Australia, but correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, barefoot, that's a strange thing if you've never been here. Another strange thing is that there are more sheep than people here in New Zealand and you'll just see them everywhere and they will walk in front of your car. Like if you're on a country road, they'll be, they'll just be out in the road. You just see, because everything is grass fed here. So even the cows and, and whatever. And so it's, you see them on the side of the road or sometimes in the road. So it's not uncommon for you to, you know, kind of have to slow down and stop for the sheep. So be prepared if you're traveling here, there are a lot of sheep. And the last one that I want to talk, which is a big one, is the way that they manage money here. It's, I wouldn't, I guess strange wouldn't be the word for it, but it is very different. And it's one of the things that I end up talking with my clients out or people coming here, like I'm trying to explain to you that you just give somebody your account number and the money gets moved immediately into your account you know, depending on the time of day and what bank you're with, but it's like, they're like, wait, what? Wait, how do I pay you? No check, no Venmo, no, none of that. They don't have Venmo here, number one. You can use PayPal, but nobody does. Everybody just does bank transfer. That's what it's called. And you just give each other your accounts and you pay each other, it's really nice. So if you buy something off Facebook Marketplace, off of Trade Me, just want, or just wanna give somebody money, you just put it in their account, or somebody buys the dinner and you just, put your share into their account. Like it's really, really nice, really nice. I hate it when I go back to the US and I can't just give somebody money. And it's like, it kind of eliminates you having to have cash. Like I rarely need to have cash because everybody either takes a card or I can do a bank transfer. It's so nice. And so that's a really big difference. It's very, it feels very strange. I guess I thought it was one because Americans struggle with like, what do you mean I'm just gonna, it feels uncomfortable. It feels unsafe to give somebody my bank account, but the, the security of the banks here are very good. And I'm putting money into account is not the same as trying to take something out. So it's perfectly safe to do so. But if you are uncomfortable, you can use WISE. <laughs> or um, you can, you know, because you can transfer money on WISE uh, if you want to do it that way. But embrace it. It's great the way that they do money here. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. Thank you to WISE for sponsoring this video and definitely check out their link for a free transfer below. And I will see you guys next week.